And this has been happening since the accident? Yeah. It's fascinating. I, not to be insensitive, it's just that we come up with all sorts of ways to get through the loss of a loved one, like your son taking up his mother's sport to maintain some sense of connection with her. But your mind, it simply created an entire reality where you haven't actually lost your wife at all. I don't think I've ever seen a coping mechanism quite like it. An elaborate and ongoing dream in which you haven't lost your son, relieving you of the obligation of dealing with his death. Maybe. I'm sorry? Whether I'm with my wife or with my son, it all feels completely real to me. You mean you're not sure which is a dream? Meaning you can't tell whether you're awake or asleep at this very moment. Incredible. Of course, I'm awake. I'm awake with my wife, and I close my eyes. I open them. I'm awake with my son. Well, I can assure you, Detective Britton, this is not a dream. What? It's exactly what the other shrink said. <laughs>